Hello and welcome back to Cookie and the Haydens and I'm Carboot Chris and we are in Atlanta at the moment in Georgia in the USA and um, we're doing a bit of thrifting while we're on our holiday. Annabelle's laughing in the background there. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Jesus. Um, we, we are on holiday for Annabelle's 40th or 50th is it? And um, whilst we're here um, in Atlanta, we're going to do um, a bit of thrifting amongst other stuff. So I'm going to share with you what we picked up today. Uh, we went to a couple of Goodwills and um, I think it was Park Avenue Thrift. She's ignoring me. Um, and I'll show you what we picked up. So let's rewind a bit and go back to the start of the day. I'm nearly shitting myself in here. Seeing the size of it. Build a bear! And you can find build a bears anywhere. <laughs> Seriously. Anywhere. And look at all this. Just have a look at the size of this place. It's closed as far as the eye can see. Could be some time. The bears. So we're going into a Goodwill, a big Goodwill store in North Atlanta, sort of the north side of Atlanta in Georgia. And I'm going to take you along. I've got my strap on here, my new bra, and uh, we'll take you thrifting. It's a green tag as well. Mind you, it's five ninety nine. So it's half price on a green tag, three dollars. There's hardly 
anything that's in sports related, there's nothing. I'm going to pick this up, mm. it's 79 cents, but um, there's one recently sold on eBay for 12 quid for £10 postage. Mm -hmm. I've got 79 cents. Yeah, it's probably it's worth it. condition. Fantasia 19 plus. Well, we didn't really get very much in there at all. Uh, that's the second or third good will we've done today and not got a lot. There doesn't seem to be much in the way of sports tops, jerseys and shirts and stuff. Um, maybe we're just missing out on them. Never mind. We'll show you what you got in a bit. So I did actually receive quite a nasty wound while I was out today. <laughs> Look at the state of this. And that, my friends, is what happens when you're on your phone and not concentrating on where you're looking and where you're walking. Nearly had to be hospitalised with that. It was not good. That I'm gonna that could scar me that. Definitely. So we actually did pretty well really considering. Um I've not done any research really on this stuff at all so I'm um, not 100% sure what the values on eBay are but uh, we'll go for it anyway. So the first thing is this Universal Studios um, fan cooler and this was around two dollars which um, I always pick up stuff like this it always seems to sell pretty well um, I've not tested it, so I don't know if it works or not, but $2, but I, I would guess, what do you reckon on that? 15 quid? Probably around the £15 mark, but I haven't checked or looked or done any research on that at the moment. Uh, we found this um, Disney mug, which... It, we did do a little bit of checking on eBay and um, it is going for between 10 and 15 pound. And this costs 79 cent at Goodwill. Oh, fuck. It's okay. Um, now, as you know, we're big fans of buying Builder Bears and we're in Atlanta. And we've seen loads of Builder Bears today, absolutely tons. We could have bought um, quite a few. But because we've got to bring all this stuff back, I'm going to limit the amount of plush toys because, as you can tell, this one's not too bad, but they take up a lot of room. I can get a couple of... I can get a jacket or a couple of T-shirts for the same size as that. So this one has a sound in it. Uh, which I think is Trolls and yeah it's like this multicoloured lion but we reckon it's probably worth about £15, it cost about $2. Uh, 
So you know that I like buying caps and I've found these three today. I picked them up on a whim really without particularly looking them up. Uh, they were pretty low value. Uh, this one is the Bojangles Southern, Five, Southern 500 Raceway and it's a NASCAR race which I think is over in Carolina which is not that far from here. Um, but it was two dollars. I think I'll do reasonably well on that. This is an authentic uh, baseball merchandise. It's the Anaheim Angels cap. Looks to be brand new without tags. And this was two dollars. And this one is the App State cap, which is a, a university in Carolina. I'm not sure if it's North or South Carolina. I'm not even going to attempt to read the name of this university. It's very difficult to pronounce, but yeah, it's known as App State. So that was uh, $3. Now I picked up this um, Disney Store Star Wars Elite Series Finn figure. This was from a Disney Store outlet. It cost five ninety nine in their sale, and they're actually going for around the thirty pound mark. They only had one in store, so I just picked up that one. Uh, otherwise, I would have got a couple more. Now onto the clothing. Um, I'll start with the most expensive item that I picked up, which is this um, Carolina Panthers um, NFL jacket. Now it is a big size. It's a 3XL. Yeah. But um, Sometimes the bigger sizes can go for good money because they're more sought after. Um, this is in great condition, but we did pay up for it. We paid $19 for that. Um, but it is in good condition. So I did um and ah about whether to buy it. Um, I couldn't find much on eBay to sort of give me an indication of price. But I could triple my money on that, I reckon, potentially. Uh, this one is a Mercedes, um, a Mercedes Benz jacket. I don't know if you can see the label on there. Um, yeah, just a sort of standard sort of jacket. Unusual, not seen something like that before um, it was six dollars ninety nine not sure on the price on it this is guardians of the galaxy it's a zip up um, top it's obviously made it's oh it's volume 2 guardians of the galaxy 2 um, made to look like um, what's his name what's his name Guardians of the Galaxy 2, the lead man. Star Lord. Obviously made to look like the Star Lord outfit. Uh, I think it was five dollars. This five dollars. Five ninety nine. Five ninety nine. Six ninety nine. I think it was. Six ninety nine. Yeah. Oh god. Probably not much money in that. Um, next one was this. I I just bought it on a whim. It's Under Armour, so it's a good make. Um, but it's got this football M with the United States sort of flag there. I'm assuming, well, making the assumption it means American football, but I'm not 100%. I'll need to do some research on that. How much was it? It was $6.99, but it's in really good condition. 
some more Carolina Panthers. This time it's like a t-shirt or a training shirt. It's got that training shirt sort of material, but it's in great condition. Uh, and that was $6, $6. Might have paid too much for it. I say that, it's gonna have money in it, it's just not as much as normal. Um, now this one is a Funko t-shirt. It's Robocop, I thought that was very cool. Um, and that was $2. So, yeah, picking that one up. This is a reversible um, upward basketball jersey. And it goes inside out to reveal a different colour, which is like a silvery white. Um, and that was $3.00. So, in pretty good condition, $3, adult medium. Yep. There was a distinct lack of sports jerseys everywhere, really, today. Didn't see much at all compared to previous trips to the States where I've seen lots of American football, basketball, baseball jerseys. I've seen hardly anything today. Really slim pickings. I thought this was an unusual um, Reebok. Uh, it says the original Classic 95. It's a sleeveless top. It's a large size. What size is it? It's 2XL for UK, so it's a big one. But it was $3. So I didn't think that was bad. Uh, another Carolina Panthers. A t shirt, Super Bowl, this one. Um, thought it was all right. No ideas on the players. Three dollars. Um, I've got a fleece here, which is the Predators. Sure, is that? Oh, it's oh, it's ice hockey, yeah. NHL Predators fleece. Nice condition. Um, and that was $6. So you can see I'm mainly going for the sports stuff. Um, I think this is the stuff that will go the best. Panthers again, t-shirt. Not really much to that one, $3. Oh, hang on a minute, was that $4? $4, sorry. Um, what's this? Chicago Bears. And that was $3. And finally, I thought this was unusual. It's a Lion King t-shirt. It's fairly large. It is a 2XL. There's lots of large sizes. Uh, it's Lion King. And on the back... It's got Hakuna Matata Freshman, 2012-2013. So I thought that was unusual and coupled with the fact that it was only 99 cents, so basically a dollar, I thought I'll have that and see what happens with it because that is unusual. And that is everything that we picked up today. Um, so I didn't think we did too bad. We went to two or three Goodwills and one different thrift store. I think it was called Park Avenue Thrift, but don't quote me on it. And um, we got a fair bit there, not too bad at all. So hopefully there's some profit to be made. Uh, and I think that is just about it for our day one of thrifting. See you later.